Welcome to version 2.0 of the file cabinet maple syrup evaporator. This is Charlie Pop's whale. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Do you want to learn about the evaporator? Drop. Here we go. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. Drop. So, uh, I made kind of a quickie video about this a while ago, but... I wanted to give you a, a detailed walkthrough of improvements I've made and some improvements that you could make when you build this thing. And I always learn from you guys, so comments or questions below, okay? Let's take a look. So our first evaporator was steam table pans dropped in a file cabinet. Works super great. A bunch of people made them, and that was really kind of cool. And um, actually, I decided to upgrade, so I gave my, uh, my version one cabinet to my neighbor down the road who's very happy with that. But let's walk through some of the improvements I made. First of all, I just left the pieces of metal between the drawers in here to, uh, to support the new tray. And then I put in, I kept the um, expanded steel grating here. And um, you might want to consider using straight sheet metal here instead of the expanded steel. And I'll talk about that a little more later. The other thing I did was when you're up again, when you were boiling with version 1.0 with the steam table trace, when this thing was whomping, you couldn't get too close to the cabinet because it would melt your pants. <laughs> so Not I bought um, inexpensive fire brick. I got these at the blue store. They're thin. They're not a, they're not, they look more like a patio brick, yeah. but they're used for lining wood stoves. And they were, they were about three bucks a piece, if I remember correctly. They weren't really expensive. And I saw, I, I put those in here just being held in by gravity. I didn't wire them in or anything, but um, that helped a lot in reflecting the heat back in to the cabinet instead of out and melting my clothes. <laughs> it was hot. You would be like, then you would have more sewing to do. Yeah. <laughs> we have a video about sewing machines. I, the sewing machine is the original 3D printer. I'll link <laughs> in the show notes here. You got to click the little down button to see more about me. But we love sewing. I love it. Love this husband. Yeah. So what I was trying to do here with the copper coil around the chimney stack and this as well, this sat along the side here was to try and preheat the sap that was coming off of our tank. And it just didn't work very well. Um, I don't know, I'll have to work on it. Maybe putting the copper coil um, inside the chimney stack might work better. Maybe I should have better contact. I, it didn't really contact with the sheet metal very well, but maybe you guys have some solutions for that. Please tell me in the comments below or make one of these and make a video, be even better. Tell them quickly. It's yeah, almost it's almost safe season. <laughs> But then I ran it, um, I had this connected to the side of the cabinet and it did okay. So I had these clips oh, yeah. and that sat in like that. Oh, okay. And then this was my kind of uh, valve, adjustable valve to dribble sap into the beginning of the tray. It worked okay. Um, I'd really like to make a gravity feed valve. I don't know if you've seen those on like a professional sap evaporator, but it's just, as, as the moisture evaporates, the water evaporates off the tray, the valve opens and lets in more sap. It's really cool. Uh, my friend Bill down the road has one. Maybe I'm trying to DIY one. If you have some ideas, let me know. But so the dribble thing, uh, it worked okay. Throw the ball, make another video. That's a stick. Oh. <laughs> Come take a look here. So this is literally just some galvanized pipe that I think I got in a job somewhere. Um, our neighbor was throwing it out. I don't know, you can find some, but I really think there should be a damper here. You know, like a wood stove damper. Oh yeah, yeah, um, like a, a, a flap thing? Yeah, just to control the draw, because you'll see when this thing is whomping, the problem with this evaporator I had was it just burned too fast. All the heat is going out the chimney rather than hitting the bottom of the pan. 
So the, the beauty of this design is it takes pallet size wood. And that's what I burn mainly. I mean, I'm surrounded by woods, but pallets are free and pre-cut, you know? <laughs> Ooh, that's frozen shut. We had an ice storm last night, so. There we go. Come on, door, open. But the beauty is the pallet wood. Oh yeah, good fit. It fits right in. We have a whole bunch of videos about how to tap trees, how to boil sap with a propane turkey deep fryer if you want, um, or you can build one of these great things. All right, quick, while she's gone. Now, the coolest thing here is this. There's a guy who I'm gonna uh, link to in the show notes here who made me this evaporator and he shipped it to me. And it's amazing quality and a very reasonable price. So I'll link to him below. Um, or you can also go to our website and learn about that. But this really upped my game from the steam table trays to a real evaporator tray. See, we custom made this to fit the file cabinet. Beautiful. It's really nice. Happy with that? Yeah, I, I love fire. Controlled fire. Yeah. It's a good thing. What I still need to fine tune is the airflow. Um, I hook up a uh, bathroom fan to this connection down here I have, and it works okay, but I still need to be better about that. There's a really great forum, discussion forum on mapletrader.com. These like old school guys are really kind of happy to give advice, and I think that's great. Um, so we're gonna fire this up and boil some water. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, before you start your fire, or right after, like we're going to do, get sap in here. So this tray has three channels. The sap goes in here, travels down here, goes through a little notch in the wall, goes across, comes back, goes across again, and out there is our output valve. So I don't finish the sap in this tray. I get it really close, then I pour it off, and then I finish it on a propane burner. I think that's a lot easier. But you'd be amazed how you watch how the sap starts to concentrate as it moves through here. It's really pretty cool. So let's talk about some improvements if you're gonna build this. Um, we addressed this in version 3.0, but I think the firebox is too big. And I liked it because you can put, you can just rip pallets up and throw them in here, right? but it burns really fast. So one thing to do is to put a baffle halfway through here. You could build it with brick and sand. You could have two pieces of steel, one going down and one going up so the air, you wanna create a turbulence so that the heat lingers here a little more, if that makes any sense. Are you a bellow? Yeah, I don't have the fan hooked up, so I'm blowing air on it. <laughs> <laughs> but with a little bit of the propane torch, because I didn't put enough paper or cardboard in, this is burning nicely. So we'll just close this up. I close it up almost all the way, let this fire for like a half hour and we'll get to boiling. It'll be nice.
2.0 is thanks to my friend Brendan who took this, took my ideas, my videos, and made it even better. So here's a quick glimpse of version 3. Shortened firebox, a little more modification. I'm going to build one of these in my shop and then that video should be floating here if it's ready. If not, you can watch all our other file cabinet evaporator, how to tap trees, how to boil sap with a propane burner. It's all doable. You can do it. If I can do it, you can. So let me know. I learned from you, okay? So let me know what you think in the comments, all right? Make it a great day. Throw the stick for your Labradors, all right? See ya.